Much of the Patriots' success during the Revolutionary War came from unconventional tactics implemented by American military forces. The British military was the most powerful fighting force in the world in 1776, and most people were skeptical about a Patriot victory. Yet, by altering their fighting styles, several officers were able to achieve stunning success. Who were these men, and what strategies did they implement? Although the term guerrilla warfare was not used in the English language until the early 19th century, the phrase means irregular warfare, in which a small group of combatants use ambushes, sabotage, disguise, raids, the element of surprise, and extraordinary mobility to dominate a larger, less mobile army. Morgan led an elite group of sharpshooters with rifles built with smaller rifled barrels. The grooved barrels were a huge advancement over military muskets because their bullets spiraled in a straight line, giving them deadly accuracy. While an advantage when it came to firing, the rifles would be a liability in a conventional fight when British soldiers charged at them with bayonets. Morgan's men didn't use bayonets, nor did they attempt to meet the British in the open in a conventional style of warfare. Morgan, a former Indian fighter, molded his tactics on the fighting styles of Native American Indians. His men used hit-and-run tactics, concealing themselves in trees, shrubbery, and anywhere else the Redcoats would not expect a gentleman to be. Accurate at 250 yards, Morgan's men also went after officers, which appalled the British and greatly decimated their armies. In multiple engagements, such as the Battle of Saratoga, Morgan's men shot down so many officers that the British threw down their weapons and fled. The problem is they're in uh, what we might call a counterinsurgency kind of campaign where uh, their passage through the land and the offense that they give to farmers creates enemies wherever they go. Now Washington unleashes revolutionary new tactics and a totally new type of soldier. Men who learned their skills on the frontier. So this army came together, an army of militia, an army of woodsmen, an army of sharpshooters, and we didn't play by the rules. British redcoats are trained for open battlefields. Now they face rebel sharpshooters hidden in dense cover. Leading them, Daniel Morgan. Hard drinker, gambler, brawler. And now the colonel of an elite corps of 500 riflemen. He was a self-made man, and he was a, he, although not educated at a great school, was a smart guy, was a tough guy, and was ready and willing to step up when the time called. He was the perfect guy to show up at the perfect time. Make me fast today. 